hello everyone i welcome you back from the easter holidays okay we're going to continue with our topics and the next in line is equations okay we've already done some equations but now we're going to solve them okay what does it mean solving them okay solving means we need to find the unknown value okay so if for instance i say i have a number okay and when i add two to this number the value is five so what was the number i had in mind i had a number in mind so let's write it down i had a number in mind that could be x when i added two to it the result the value is five what was the number okay those are equations solving the equations now three plus two will give me five why because if I eliminate the 2 from both sides, here I will only get x, and here I will get 3. So x is 3. Hello. Solve means find the value of the unknown letter. So what we need to do is we need to um, place letters on one side. And the numbers on the other side. Okay, place letters on one side and numbers on the other side. Um, but we should see x. Okay, make x yo she call com before x subject of the formula. So, x plus 7 is 5. Sorry, okay? x plus 7 is 5. So, I have something. When I add 7 to it, it is it becomes 5. What is the value? So, I need to eliminate 7. So, I will find just x. To eliminate 7, I subtract 7 from this side and subtract 7 from that side. Okay? So 7 minus 7, and I will get an x. 5 minus 7, that is minus 2. Question B. 3x minus 2 is 4. So first I eliminate the number. It's like subject of the formula. So this minus 2, I have to add 2. And I have to add 2 on this side as well. So what will happen now? Minus 2 plus 2. Okay, it is eliminated. I will only have 3x. And on this side, I will have 4 plus 2. Okay, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So 3 multiplied by something is 6. Now I need to eliminate 3. What is the opposite of three? Uh, opposite of multiplication, right? That is division. So this is eliminated. Okay, if I divide by three over here, I need to divide by three over there as well. So I will get x equals six on three, which is two. Now you can check your working. How? All right, I can check by working because I have three times x, three times two minus 2 so 3 times x my 3 times 2 which is 6 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 i will get a 4 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side this one over here x is on one side numbers on the other side mela um what what, what would be ideal a 4x or a 2x imagine they are money okay if they're money what would you prefer two euro or four euro okay i would prefer four euro so let the four x on this side and eliminate the two x from that side so basically minus two x on that side and minus two x on this side as well okay now 
I need to take the letters on one side. My letters are on this side. And the numbers on the other side. Okay? So, basically, I will take the plus one to the other side. So, to take to the other side, basically, to eliminate it from here, you need to subtract one. The opposite of plus one is minus one. So, subtract one on the other side as well. For minus one. For minus one is three. 4x minus 2x is 2x. Okay, it's a divide by 2. So I eliminate the times 2 there. x equals 3 division by 2, 1.5. Next one, 16 minus 3a is 7. Alright, I need to find a. Mela, that will have to be positive. For it to be positive, I just, I, I'd ideally take it to the other side. So what will happen if this will go to the other side? Instead of negative 3a, I will get a positive 3a. Because when I try to eliminate it, okay, I need to add a 3a. So I have 16 here on the 7 plus 3a. Okay, now I need to remove the 7. To remove that 7, I need to subtract 7. If I subtract 7 over here, I need to subtract 7 on the other side as well. So on the 16 minus 7, okay, that is eliminated and I end up with a 3a. Now 16 minus 7 is 9. Okay, so 3 multiplied by something will give me 9. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I have 9 division by 3, which is 3. This is eliminated and I have A. And as I said before, you can check it out. Let's check this out. Okay. I have 16 minus 3 times A. Well, 16 minus 3 times A. And A is 3. So bid must start with the multiplication. Minus 3 times 3, which is minus 9. 16 minus 9, which gives a 7. Is it true that the other side is 7? Yes, so that is correct. So, I would like you to try on your own. E, F, and G. Okay? Try them on your own. They're the same thing. Okay? But you have the same numbers over here. Okay? So, it shouldn't be a problem. Try them out. Give yourself around five to six minutes. Okay, you can pause the video and then we can try it out together. So, when the video has been paused, okay. We can continue working. So 3G, well, I need to find G, but this is negative. So ideally it will be on the other side, so it will be positive. Mela, remove it from here by adding 3G because it's the opposite. Minus 3G, the opposite is plus 3G. It is eliminated over there. So I have 9.2 equals 7.4 plus 3G. Yes, G needs to remain on its own, but first remove the 7.4. So you can take it on the other side, instead of positive, it will become negative, or else remove it from here, move it from both sides. Okay. Well, 9.2 minus 7.4. Okay, so this is 1.8. And this is 3G. So, to find G, now I need to eliminate 3. 3 is being multiplied by G, so the opposite is divide. And divide on this side as well. Okay? 1.8 division by 3. 0.6 equals G. Next question. 18 minus 5x equals 0. Similarly as the one before. You have a negative, okay? So move it to the other side so it will become positive. You can 
add 5x there and add 5x there as well. So this is eliminated. You will have just 18 on that side and a 0 plus 5x on this side. 0 plus 5x is 5x. Okay. Now I need to find x. Man, I need to eliminate the 5. 5 is multiplied by x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. Okay. So 18 divided by 5. Use a calculator. And that is 3.6. And again, you can check out that the working is correct. 3.6 times 5. Now, 18 minus that value. Okay. And see if you'll get a 0. If yes, then it is correct. Next question. I need to find the unknown letter, which is D. So, move them both on the same side. If they were money, what would you prefer? A 5 euro or a 5 euro, 4 euro 20 cents? You would prefer a 5 euro. So, move the Ds on this side. So, on the 5D, the 4D, the G minus 4.2D. On this side, I have the 9.2. And I'm going to move this one to that side. So, instead of negative 4.8, it is a positive 4.8. Okay. 5d minus 4.2d, which leaves us with a 0.8d. 9.2 plus 4.8. Okay, you use a calculator because, and that will give us 14. Okay, d. 0.8 multiplied on the other side divide 14 division by 0.8 okay. calculator again divided by 0.8 that is d is 17.5